Hello dears, as per the request of subscriber, this video is for WebView Inside Dialog or WebView Inside Pop-Up in Android with Android Studio 4.0. So what will be the final output? Likewise, if we click on the button, then these web view will be loaded inside dialog or you can say alert dialog or pop up in Android. So upgrade your studio to latest one Android Studio 4.0. And in this one, we are going to use view binding, which replaces find view by ID. So if activity underscore main dot XML is the name of layout file, then activity main binding will be the automatically generated class. So let's start web view inside dialog. Go to new project with empty activity inside Android Studio 4.0. And this one is OTS means one time step. Go to your build.grid file means module level app. This one is not dependency. So you need to add view binding enable equals to true. Make sure your internet connection is on. After that, sometimes we want this one Android manifest.xml. This one is the step number one. So let's we are going to see this one, how we are going to perform uses permission of internet and use clear text traffic true to get the perfect response inside the latest version of Android 29 plus. So this one is regarding Android manifest.xml. Then we need to design one screen means with the one button. And after that button, we need to write the code to load the alert dialog with WebView. So let's start the coding. Go to file and new then new project with empty activity click on next give the name whatever you want to give likewise demo underscore web view and dialog okay click on finish all the stuffs will be ready so go to gradle file and build dot gradle file this is not dependency we need to add just view binding line so inside the Android block, we need to write one line to add view binding enabled equals to true. There is no semicolon is needed. Make sure your internet connection is on. So click on sync now. After the gradle process will be finished in inside our project. No need for much more find view by ID for all the components. So let's see and uh, try to build as per the requirement. So go to just to close this build.gradle file, minimize this one and I'm going to for the screen purpose, designing screen purpose. And first I will give over here padding equals to 20 dp. And I will replace this text view with button. Okay. So give the ID to button. So ID at the plus ID btn underscore show. What are the text you want to save or you want to set it? Then uh, it's a show dialog. Then text size will be 30 SP. I want 30 SP and text color will be white. Okay. Then background color will be black. Okay. I change it. Background color is black and this one is white. So going to perform the whatever the operation on the main activity dot Java file. Just close this screen and write two lines for the view binding activity main binding binding then we need to write the code for the initialization of variable binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate and get layout inflator 
layout in filter semicolon and this one this line will be replaced likewise binding dot get root will be here okay so just we make one method over here to show the dialog so let's start to build the method public void show dialog it is regarding loading the web view dynamically inside the alert dialog so alert dialog dot builder okay give the name of builder likewise if you want to say alert whatever the name you want to give the new space and control space okay inside this one argument pass this or you can say what are the activity dot this also it will be one and we are going to directly set the particular web view inside the screen so just i write web view whatever the name you want to give likewise web view it's okay and new then space web view over here you can say it as pass the context and whatever the web view we are going to load url whatever the url you want to load likewise this time want to pass load url and over here just pass the variable likewise http colon slash slash www dot google dot com okay so after the loading file of web view we directly set web view dot set you can set new web view client a new space and control space you can directly set by this way you can override certain methods also likewise if you want to override currently we are going to set override loading url with uh, should override url loading so inside that just we you can by that way also you can return this one or if you want to do it manually in web view dot load url then this one then return the value true okay so it is by default uh, it is loaded with the within the app so that's why we are doing by this way then just uh, type alert dot set web view or set view inside the web view okay then just uh, we want to set alert dot set negative button so only close button i want so just i type close and just type new space and control space dialog interface dot on click listener so i first semicolon with this one and right now just type dialog dot dismiss okay and we want to set alert dot show okay so our method is ready for show dialog just we want to write binding dot button show dot set on click listener new space and control space just call show dialog method and this one is ready but two things are remaining this one is inside the manifest.xml file so go to manifest file and give the user's permission of internet right now and less than sign user's permission of internet so first thing is clear and another thing i want to set for the newer api it is uses clear text traffic true so these two things are ready with the android manifest.xml and our method is ready and just we call that just press shift f10 and let's see what happens and output is ready so click on the show dialog and web view inside alert dialog it is ready very easy practical you have seen this one very useful then as per the final output you can see this one if you click on it then web view inside dialog it is ready so as per the commitment final output is ready
So web view inside dialog or web view inside pop up in Android with Android Studio uh, tutorial is completed. So it is just an experiment I want to share with you. I am sure you will like it and subscribe this channel for more update regarding Android Studio 4.0. Thank you. Thank you very much.